Tell us a little bit about the 100 backstroke. Honestly, I, I'm so speechless. Uh, it was, this night is better than I could have dreamt of. Um, I haven't even had time to reflect over my 100 backstroke, but it felt really good. I kept to my race tactic, tactic and obviously it paid off. So I'm super happy with all of my performances tonight. When you looked at the board, is that what you expected to see? Definitely not. <laughs> Adding 100 back to my schedule was kind of a last minute decision. So being able to be up there and fighting and winning the gold medal in, in a time of 55-2, like, I did not <laughs> believe this was going to happen tonight. <laughs> and just for a moment, reflect on the other women in the race, because that was one heck of a field. Yeah, no, it was a really stacked field. And it was a great being up there with Kylie Moss, for example, who have, I've been training with for the past two months basically so that was a lot of fun no it was a a great field and so i was thrilled that i could be up there and swimming with all the girls tonight. and the relay yeah that was a great start for tonight <laughs> i think it, that set off the team suite into a great start with winning that relay and equaling the world record and then seeing my sister win a bronze medal it was just so much adrenaline and joy throughout this whole session so i was just trying to calm myself down for the 100 back and that would spark your performance tonight absolutely terrific so louise um you come back you uh, competed for the the trojans and loughborough like how does it uh compare when you're competing for your national team or when you were competing collegially and how did being a you know combining your studies in school help you you know be also a world-class performer uh, I think swimming at SC and not swimming at Loughborough and swimming at the national team, they've all helped build me as a swimmer and I've all been perfect in time for the place that we're at in my career. And obviously it's different and swimming for the national team will always be an honor being able to represent Sweden and being, being able to stand up on a podium and hear the national anthem will always be something special. I'm almost going to have a few and then I'll wrap up. Uh, what? What inspired adding the 100 back to your schedule for this meet? Uh, I felt like uh, my underwaters have been really good all season and after uh, Naples with ISL, I decided to swim the World Cup and just try out the backstroke for fun because I felt like I could do a good 100 back and 50 back and after swimming the World Cup and seeing the results I was able to achieve at that meet just gave me an urge to try to do it here at Worlds as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, like you said, busy season. ISL, World Cup, Bucks. Uh, can you take us through the fall and um, how you've managed to kind of, you know, be in shape and do so much racing and still be at your best a lot of the time? Yeah, it's for sure been a crazy fall, and I feel like this fall have been extremely long, but also so short. <laughs> There's been a lot of races since the Olympics, and it, it's almost. I'm, I can't even believe Olympics was only a few months ago considering all the racing I've done. It's definitely been a different type of training, racing this much, but obviously it's paid off and something that worked well for me considering the past two days. Uh, and then with your studies at Loughborough, how have you been able to manage the studies with all the racing and then also how has the, the training environment been different um, from your past locations? Um, I got a lot of practice obviously going to SC studying full time and now I'm doing part time at Loughborough but it's been working out okay, just handed in my assignment like three days ago so happily I was done with it before the competition started but I think it's a, it's a nice to have something on the side of swimming to be able to leave all the swimming at the pool when I leave practice when I get to school and I think that's a good combination that works really well for me. The, the, can you talk a little bit about training at Loughborough and maybe <clears throat> How it's been? How it's been different, or what you've learned from there so far? Um, yeah, uh, I, the training definitely have changed a bit since I swam at SC. I would say the sets that I'm doing, my key sets, they are definitely higher quality, and I'm able to go a lot quicker. And there is definitely more rest in between each sessions. Um, I think it's been more tailored towards me as a sprinter. Um, and obviously, Loughborough have like great facilities, great coaches, and all of that, which have helped build me as an athlete and work on those details. Higher quality than Salo? <laughs> I would say with Salo, it's a lot of intensity every single session, whereas now we've cut down and maybe have some more recovery sessions. So the once we do key set, I'm, I'm able to go a lot quicker on them. <laughs>
Can I just get your thoughts on Abu Dhabi being a host? Uh, how impressed are you with the city and uh, the organization? And do you feel, uh, would you like to come back and compete here later on? So far, we have had a great experience. I haven't been able to see anything from the city. I've uh, been very busy swimming, so, uh, but so far, I think everything's been working out well. You mentioned your sister. It must be amazing to experience this with her. Do you train together? Do you, like, how does that work and how is it for you? Always amazing having my sister with me and it's been a few years now and it's always just a comfort having her like having someone to rely on that knows you so well. But no, we don't train together. Uh, as I said, I swim at USC and Sophie swims at NC State. Um, we swim for the same club team back home but her being a breaststroker and me being a wide back freestyler, uh, we don't really train together but as both of us are at this stage in our careers and are facing similar things so it's easy to have someone to talk to and we can honestly learn a lot from each other even though we don't train and swim the same. So three questions about your future. <laughs> First, short term, what can we expect from you this week? <laughs> obviously I come for a great start. I'm excited to just have a rest day tomorrow and just try to get some sleep and then yeah, obviously in great shape so I'm excited for what's to come for the rest of the week. Lots of fun to realize. What's your today. holiday plans? Sorry? Your holiday plans? Uh, I'm actually going to see my brother and my sister in the US and meet up with my family there. And then I'm actually going back to LA to see my friends at SC. Well, we have a new year right around the corner. And in May, we have the long course world championships in Fukuoka. How does your success in the short course pool translate to long course competition? Hopefully I will be up there and be able to be competitive as I'm here. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what to come. And finally, also in your future, special deal, only three years to the Paris Olympics and not four. What does that mean to you? Uh, I think it's gonna come back come really quick considering, uh, yeah, the, from 16 to 21, I felt like that was a pretty, pretty quick turnaround. But yeah, I'm excited, obviously. Uh, I'm taking big steps in my career, so I'm, I'm excited for the 24 Olympics.